and this one is okay. And that's all for now. Thank you very much. Why are we done? Could you give me no more specifically? I could not have that value that I need in my life. Now, someone said that that conversation is a service, possibly a conviction, but in fact, all of that information is possibly quite reasonable and worthy. How do I get some information without being seen by the other party who is another person? To be rude, intrusive, invasive, and generally. Rather critical. Is it, is it, I'm not sure they have. <laughs> and, and that is one of the things that makes my job so interesting. <laughs> yeah. But it is the feeling I have inside. Yeah. And yeah. asking those questions of another culture in that way and being that specific, prescriptive, and precise when they are being ambiguous and vague, mm -hmm. uh, I'm being interested and I'm not, I'm not reaching a match of mind. Yes. And remember in my talk, I mentioned something like institutional imposed goals. Okay. So this this is actually what, what is the matter here. You are a teacher, probably a professor, right? And these are students. So there is role, and I would say you're perfectly in your right to demand it because the institution prescribed it for you to be like that. And that should be in order to avoid that you have this funny feeling that you know that you're not properly appreciated, that they think what is he going on about, or why does he ask it in such a way, whatever. What I would suggest is you make it explicit. This is the institution, I'm a teacher, if we have, were on a different level of a relationship, okay, many different levels, friends and spouses and whatever, you know, father and daughter, father and son. Then it would be different. I am here and I have power, to put that there, that is entrusted in me through the institution. This is the case, and it should be accepted. Actually, we have lots of, uh, I have another project uh, financed by the Volkswagen Foundation in Germany, where we look at um, instructing office hours, is exactly what you're going to talk about, right? Academic environment sessions, where international students interact uh, with German professors. And that same thing actually occurs there, okay? But interviewing the German professor who wasn't an interview, wasn't understood, didn't do what I said, whatever, and he was not, he was totally unfazed. He said, well, you know, I mean, this is what it is, and uh, I have been to the institution. Right? I don't know whether the subject or whether it's the other he accepted. Thank you for the point. I just have one more question. Yes. Okay, go on. How do you say diplomats are talking to each other? Yes. They talk in what I would call diplomatic speak. Right. The, the, I presume the reason for this is space. Yes. It would appear the problem we have when we're talking in higher spheres is space. Right. Not to do. We communicate with beings as they are, but not saying it as it is, but saying it in a way that enables the other part not to lose. Yes, yes. So why don't we address space rather than communication? Because that would appear to be the great direction. Yes, but not. The case, of course, it is part of the madness, if I talked about. Pace means you are, you should say your own pace and another person's pace, okay? And this is the main concept in politeness here, okay? Brown Medicine, 1978, 1987, many other people, so this is for early government, the way back in the, uh, started writing the 50s of Chicago University. This is the main, this is underlying communication, okay? But my topic was misunderstanding the cross culture. And this involves probably also a different value giving, giving this space. As you could see with this rather ridiculous little uh, too much rice thing, I think the German guy uh, was not concerned with saving his own and the other space so much of it. 
So this is the right to say it's just underlying all of it. But it is probably differently interpreted in different cultures, I would say. There's certain cultures that this again goes into, into the prejudices about Eastern culture to Western culture, and not Eastern culture to be more concerned with this case. But in a different way, I would say that, that uh, I've probably all cultures uh, obey this, but to different degrees, to the interpreted differently. There is much research on native, non-native. Over the years, it started with the land sandwiches in the language hypothesis and so on. And there's lots of uh, misunderstanding between these two. This has been researched and you're quite right. This is a completely different uh, different uh, consummation. Okay, when well, you have the native speaker, but the the, um, the demand or the postulation by people who speak English in the meaning of contact now is that the glorious native speaker should actually accommodate to these non-native chats, which are in the, in the majority now. This is about the relation of four to one in the world. The natives are in the minority, and this tendency is growing. Okay, so they have to, to do something to understand these, these uh, non-native people. Okay? Uh, or what do you call it? The mission of your university. Universal knowledge, something with truth, or the time is truth. I, I don't want to talk about truth because it's difficult what truth is, but I can talk about universal knowledge. It's very important to know as much as humanly possible about the backgrounds of the people you talk to and you interact. The more you know, the more you will understand, and the, the less friction you will occur. That's my belief. I've always from, from the time in the lawyer thought that it is important to amass knowledge, but this is probably not enough. Knowledge is a cognitive function. What you also need, it sounds a little bit like preaching, I'm sorry, that's my belief, you also have to cultivate something like empathy, right? You have to have a feeling for another human being, not only in, who has a role as a student and who has the institutionally imposed or granted role as a teacher, but we are also human beings. And as human beings, one very frequently has a feeling of the needs of other human beings. And this should not be crushed. Children have this much more probably. And if you develop both, extend your knowledge and cultivate something like empathy, I think that, that, that helps. And keep what I said, this, this open mind, because things change all the time, right? They may be very vague, but I can't be more specific because I don't know the situation really so well. Okay? But uh, institutions like the UN have been set up <laughs> to promote understanding. I think on a, on a human level, on, on personal interactions, this is always possible. If you go to a different culture or if uh, you talk to people in your own age group and so on, you would understand that there is exchange programs and so on that, that promote this type of understanding. But if you go to a social and political level, uh, it gets more complicated because in the, in the areas we have about diplomacy and uh, politics as well, it's not the zeal of understanding that dominates, but it's mostly power and profit, I would say. And uh, because this is so, that of course intervenes with can we all understand one another. Yeah? You have to make a distinction between the individual level where many things are possible, right? And the, the social and political level, which is totally different. A good example of what we heard just before, the, 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 the diplomat speech, speech, also political speech. I've always wondered why politicians and diplomats never answer a question. You ask them a question where you would expect a yes and no, and there's no yes and no for a communist talking around it, talking about something completely different. If you watch the British uh, election debate, it was wonderful to see how people uh, cultivated evasiveness and vagueness and you know, not saying the wrong thing, not uh, trying to uh, focus other than, uh, than Brown, of course, who 
famously said something that he shouldn't have said, as you probably know. Right. So did I answer your question? No, it's not too positive. I'm, I'm sorry. It, it, it depends on where you will conduct your business. Of course, with the pre preconditions across the street, you speak English. You speak English like a native speaker or approximating a native speaker. But then, of course, it, 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 it depends where, where, whether you also need regional languages. You need other languages. Let's say you speak Arabic or what you need. For instance, to also learn Chinese. The first thing in other words is that you know the language, because the language is a reservoir of the culture that is very important. And then you have to uh, amass your knowledge about the different culture. Not only business, business you have to know definitely because you get your degree in there, but you have to know um, the facts and developments in the culture, right? Of the linguistic, but this is very important. And then, of course, then you have to be a little diplomat in a guise to master your, your face. You shouldn't be too open like a baby and show exactly what you think. You should, be, you should hide uh, your feelings, of course, and you should, in uh, non protected areas, and you should also uh, do something with your body Close right? Sorry, the tradition does a play a great role, of course, right? But it's something that when we also, as far as possible, also from outside, you can at least know what a religion prescribes of people and how people interpret it. And again, coming back to the knowledge, you don't have to, to follow this religion yourself, but at least you should know it and what it means, so not to, to step on people's toes, okay? For instance, uh, I've been in Iran in Islam, and I learned before that I'm not supposed to give hands, shake hands with men, you know, as my any other people. So I didn't, or I had to cover my head, which I did, because it's the religious tool of this country. So you should know this, that's the problem. Again, we're coming back to the knowledge. Know as much as possible. That's why you're in the university also. Thank you.